guys, Ray hey Rams, defensive tackle Sebastian Joseph Day here. And uh, right now we are in a huge pandemic where it's getting hard for all of us to stay in shape. So I'm gonna show you a few workouts y'all could do to stay in shape. Um, this is brought to you by uh, LA84. So I wanna teach you guys one of my favorite workouts to do and it's a push-up. All right, so you could go either two ways with a push-up. You could do wide arm or close or, or close hand. I prefer to like to do close hand. So get down. When you do do a push-up, I like to do close hand. Like I said, you want your elbows to be parallel, or you want your shoulders and your hips to be parallel to the ground. Tight core. That's how you do a push-up. The reason why I love push-ups is it works on great upper body strength. You know, as a defensive lineman, it's very important for me to have a strong upper body for when I shoot my hands and engage in blocks. Um, so yeah, um, keep doing your push-ups is really important. Um, stay in shape, and I know during these, these hard times, you know, it may get redundant, but we'll get through this together and we'll stay in shape and get strong while doing it. Another thing that I like to do that that's with football is squats. Uh, squats help with lower body strength. So I can be very explosive on the field. I'm a defensive lineman, so when I come out, my, come out of my stance, I need all that quick twitch and all that quick twitch and explosive muscles to come out. So I'm gonna show you today also how to do squats. So proper way to do squats. A lot of people like to tell you, you know, you kind of want to do shoulder width, your feet. Shoulder width your feet. And also another thing that people want to say with squats is you know, you kind of want to sit back on your heels, which is true, but you also want to use the whole entire foot. Um, a lot of people think that it's just, you know, you want to sit back on your heels. You actually want to, yes, sit back on your heels, but also use your entire, all of your, all, every single muscle in your feet, because all of it counts when you're playing the, the game of football. As you can see, you want your shin angle, Always try to be parallel. You don't want your shins to go over your feet at all, ever. You want to sit back. One, two, three. Then, if you want to work, attack different parts of your legs, you can go wider with the feet. That works. That attacks different parts of your glutes and your hamstrings and your quad and your quadriceps. The wider you go, the more you feel it, especially in your groin area and in your glutes. So, same thing. You know, you, you kind of want to do the same thing with your feet. You want to sit back on your heels, but you also want to use your entire foot. That kind of makes sense. Once you make sure your shins are parallel, parallel. You never want your shins to go over, over your toes at all ever. You want to make sure you're really sitting back with a firm base. Same thing. One, two, three. As simple as that.